I'm Natalie from Hinterbrook. We went to Misaki Sushi in downtown Nyab on the Lake to see how our 2015 Pinot paired with their amazing sashimi platter. So check out the video and maybe grab a bottle for yourself to give it a try. It's a wonderful composition. Mm -hmm, it's gorgeous. Do you know how many kind of fish? Are there? I think there's six different ones. When when our server came by, she said that was bluefin tuna, uh -huh. that was albacore tuna with some fish eggs on top, I think, um, horse mackerel, fluke, grunt fish, and salmon. And she said this was a, a horse mackerel too, and she'll fry that up for us later. How cool is that? Ah, really nice presentation. Beautiful. Are, are all of them from, I mean, Canada are from the Atlantic Ocean, no, the Pacific Ocean? No, um, I believe they're from the Pacific Ocean. Um, she was telling us earlier that she, like this restaurant will actually go to Japan and ship all their fish in from the Tsukiji fish market, which is the largest fish market in the world. So it's extremely fresh. So it'll come over on plane and then it'll go to Toronto and they'll pick it up and it's probably fresher than what you would get like in the countryside of Japan. I'm really excited. So, I might try some if that's okay. Can I try some? Sure. Okay. Go for it. So first, let's pour a little bit of soy sauce in this little dish here. And something I was thinking about, because we're talking about aging wine, right? When you age wine, it gets better with age. But people are starting to age soy sauce for like 10 years, and it just gets thicker and thicker and better and better. So I can't wait. I'm gonna try some of this bluefin tuna. They keep talking about it. Okay, here we go. It's like the balsamic vinegar, but better. Better. I don't think so. You're Italian, that's why. So, we're not drinking it tonight, but we have our Pinot Noir here in Hinterbrook. Do you want to talk a bit about our Pinot? Sure, sure. So, this is our Pinot Noir and uh, one of the most popular variety in Niagara Peninsula. Mm -hmm. They are focusing basically on four varieties, Pinot and Cabernet Franc for the red, and Riesling and Chardonnay for the white. Because mm -hmm. they're easier I, to grow, right? I think they're easier in our climate. I've heard that, but in, I mean, there are several varieties, varieties yeah. cultivated. So, the most important thing is this Oh, BQA Niagara Lakeshore. Yeah. And what's that? What's special about that? Because it means this wine is produced only with the grapes cultivated in our property. Oh, that's so cool. So we don't buy any grapes, we don't like steal any grapes. Yeah. It's all ours? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. So the reason I brought the Pinot Noir today is because a lot of people assume that with fish, because it's a light dish, you have to have a white wine, which is fine. But the Pinot, because the tuna is so meaty, it really brings out a lot of the flavors. And I find with the soy sauce too, it would be an absolutely beautiful pairing because there's some smoky flavors in the soy sauce too. And like, if you were to describe this Pinot Noir to someone, what would you say? Like, how would you describe it? Well, of course the and in textures is very soft. Mm. So, so yeah, it should be, should be okay with the fish too. Yeah, because it's not overpowering, right? Mm. When you are talking about pinot, you know, when you pair it with charcuterie, how do you say charcuterie? Charcuterie, charcuterie. yeah. Which is, this is like Japanese charcuterie. Yeah. <laughs>